kids, welcome back to the program. And today we have a treat especial. Oh yeah, we do. We have another Gibson Midtown, except this one, at first glance, doesn't appear to be all buggered up. But uh, anyway, I'm torturing Richard, because it's been here a couple days now. <laughs> and all I've done is play it. Now, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. No brakes, no nothing. The nut is where it's supposed to be in line with the binding. <laughs> Not many millimeters below it. Yeah, I think the only visible damage is a little bit of buckle rash right there. Uh, the only other thing I noticed is, and Richard and I talked a little bit, these pickups are a little bit, they sound a little bit brighter than the last one. And we have also noticed that the pickup cover doesn't appear to be all the way lined up with the pickup under it. Um, and we assume that it was reversed, like the last one at some point, but instead of taking the pickup out of the pickup ring and do it like I had to do with the last one, they just swapped it around. Anyway, um, so this is the fella from Montreal who's decided that he would make good and take back the one that he gave Richard. He drove all the way back from Montreal and gave Richard this one instead, which apparently is his personal one, and did admit to the damage on the last one. So anyway, and I don't know if you remember seeing the last video, but my first clue was that, that all this stuff was touching the, the guitar body. Now, I am a little worried about the nut and about the and about the relief, so I'm gonna go check that. This has really thick gauge strings on it. I would say 11s or 12s. Feels more like 12s to me. Pretty damn thick, I would say. So, I'm gonna take it down, take it apart, and see what's what. All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. Today we're taking apart the Replacement Midtown Custom with super friggin' heavy gauge strings. Real man plays super heavy gauge strings, don't they? I'm joking. I'm fucking joking. Take it easy. Jesus, everybody gets so triggered by everything I say. I'm fucking joking. What the fuck you mean, man? I'm playing heavy gauge strings. Heavy gauge strings are the best. Okay, dude, settle fucking down. I'm just kidding. Have you seen me play? I play terribly. That's why I don't like heavy gauge strings. Anything that makes fucking playing a guitar a struggle for me, I don't like. <sighs> I don't play very well. This guitar has a fucking weird smell. It smells, this guitar smells like a toilet. All right, well, what should we? What should we look at first? Should we see? We're really curious to see what these... What's under here? Ding, ding, ding! What do we got? First Buckers! Yeah, First Buckers. First Bucker 1s! PB1. 2012. Yeah. Too legit. Too legit to quit. I don't know why it's separated then. Weird. Maybe just from smashing it. Like a goof. It's a very Canadian thing to say. To call somebody a goof. You fucking goof. I don't know why. I used to call everybody that when I was a kid. You fucking goof. And these stupid slotted screws, like, come on, Gibson, fucking give this bullshit up. Well, let's at least get a... Let's at least join the fucking 21st century and go with some kind of Phillips for fucking absolute fuck's sakes. This is what I go through every time. I have yet to find... Ugh. 
have yet to find a better way without going through this bullshit every fucking time. One of them in there. I'm struggling. Get the other one in there. I don't know, maybe the reason these sound hot is because they were too close to the strings. The last one sounded a bit more throaty. I can't remember what was in the last one. Was it Birchbucker 2s or Bros or some bullshit? This is definitely Birchbucker 1, 2012. And you stupid fucking cunt, this better not be. I cut them up too low, I'm gonna fucking snap. Good snap! Beautiful. Perfectly straight. And it was playing fine. Gonna have decent setup on it. Yes, buddy came through. Okay, that's good. So we can go ahead and do the upgrades that he wanted to do. The upgrade. FaceTime. Lots of people still ask about what the Ronson is for. Cleaning. Used to clean stuff. Dirty fingerboards. After I've polished the frets. Right before I put a little bit of oil on it. I clean out all the old dirt. That's what's on your fingerboard. And then I give her a good coat of the the Earls. Give her a good coat of the Earls. And then she looks delicious. See? Earl, no Earl. Earl, no Earl. So we put on the Earls. Do we need the Earls? I don't know. Do the Earls look nice? Yup. Do the Earls smell nice? Yeah, lemony. So we put on the earls. Then we just use a clean part of the cloth. And rub in the earls. Get out a nice style looks with the earls. 
Okay. Gorgeous. We'll even give the bidet. We'll even give the bidet a little. Get rid of some of the smell of ass on this guitar. It smells like ass. You know, I don't think I've ever noticed whether or not a guitar smells. But this one, smell on like ass. See, this is one of those parts of the thing where I'm doing something and it totally doesn't get filmed because I just get into what I'm doing. And I forget that the camera's watching. La -da 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 -da. I'm just doing stuff, doing stuff for ages before I realize, oh shit, the camera's gonna switch the camera around. Done! Wickety-whack! <laughs>